because I, I mean that's one of the pieces that you've that's uh, you've been talking about a lot lately, uh, particularly as OTA president, has really resonated with me and a lot of surgeons in the UK, which is around uh, patients' recovery after after trauma. Because as orthopedic surgeons, we're very, really guilty of focusing on what the post-operative X-rays look like, and yeah. uh, we're very very radiological based, and we we are we do focus on patients receiving physical therapy. But recovery after trauma is so much more than a few sessions of physical therapy and having a straight leg, isn't it? Oh, absolutely. And it's 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 a funny thing because we've all been there in the clinic where you're in the room and you go, okay, well, your tibia plafond is, is healed and uh, it's ready to walk on and that's fine. And they come back three months later and the person is just sitting there crying yeah. in your office. Why are you like, crying? Oh, the what's X-ray going on? Why are you crying? The X-ray looks great. I'm like 40 minutes behind. Yeah. I can't stop now. But, but seriously, I mean, this, this happens and then we're not, we don't necessarily have the time at that time and place because we're behind, we're overbooked and overextended. We're so focused on, you know, bone broke, I fix, X-ray says it's healed, go walk. Okay, see you. Back to work. But it, it, we're taking care of people. Mm. And people come with all kinds of issues that predate their injury and then many new ones after their injury. And how do we help them to heal and be functioning members of society 